any graduate business student can find um, jobs in a variety of ways. Some are really traditional through our office and on-campus recruiting and networking with alumni. Another way um, that is pretty unique to the graduate business student experience is an affinity fair or a diversity conference. These are conferences that happen in the fall and are geared towards um, large Fortune 500, far Fortune 1000 employers finding diverse talent um, early on in the fall for some of their pipeline MBA roles. There's National Black, which is the largest career fair and the one that has the greatest amount of employers. There is Prospanica, which is typically for uh, Latino and Hispanic students. There's also the LGBTQ organization that's called Ramba. And finally, there is the Vets Fair that happens as well. And it's important to know that you don't have to be a member of that community to go to those fairs, but these are employers that are looking for diverse candidates, and so these fairs are in fact trying to encourage students of uh, different backgrounds to be part of those uh, events. We really want you to start thinking about attending these really early, and if you are planning to attend them, to work with our office as early as possible. We have students coming in in the summer to engage with our coaches, so by the time fall comes around and you start school, you're ready to drop your resume and apply for positions um, at these fairs. I met with uh, one of the GBCC coaches during the summer uh, before I started um, school, and that's when I really talked to them about about, all right, is this the right fit for me? Would this be a good opportunity? And we mutually uh, agreed that it would be. Um, so that's when I started to do my prep. Um, first by starting out with reviewing my resume um, and getting that into the Carlson format. Um, also reviewing my cover letters um, and just general opportunities that I was interested in. I'm just reading, you know, the background of the company really helps to set you at ease. So when they ask you questions about the company, you're, you're educated um, and through going we had interview prep with the GBCC, so I kind of felt prepared through that too. I knew kind of what questions they were going to ask, um, the behavioral questions that they were gonna ask specifically. I did not just only surface level touch any of the organizations that I was looking at to go into these interviews. Literally did in-depth research from a culture perspective, from a leadership perspective, what the CEOs are doing, like where do they want to be in 2020, 2025, et cetera. What are like big strategies that they're implementing? What is their market share? All of these things were things that I ensured that I gathered so that when I was in those interviews, I was able to like eloquently and really concisely communicate, this is where you're going and this is the value that I can potentially add to the organization that can help you get there. So we like to send at least one, if not two people to the fairs so that the students have a place where they can come back, ask questions, center themselves, talk about strategy potentially. When you go to the fair, there's going to be a long list of employers that you can uh, review. And sometimes it's a matter of what we're hearing from the other students and passing information along from about one employer to the other, or perhaps it is a case of there are 10 employers you want to see, which are the ones do we think that you should hit first or that you have the greatest opportunity with. So there's conversations on strategy, there's also quick practice interviews if they are nervous, uh, and, and sometimes it's just come back and have a snack because it's tiring. It's a very full day when you're down at these fairs. There were hundreds of incoming MBA women, and there were you know, a handful of companies there, and so it felt overwhelming to be in this setting where I knew that I was going to try and recruit with these companies and there was so much talent in the room but I went in with a plan and that's what I'd advise students to do is really be focused. What is this overarching strategy and what are my goals and objectives that I want to accomplish? So I knew goals and objectives. I want to come out of National Black with final round interviews for the roles that I'm interviewing with, right? So Bank of America, I want a final round interview leaving there and I want a final round interview with Delta leaving there, right? So that was objective number one. Objective number two was to engage the hell out of Bain while there because I really, really wanted to engage with Bain as one of my top two firms that I was recruiting at. So those were the two objectives and then everything else was just added value so while I was there first day I did my interviews the second day I was just like running around basically the entire conference just like engaging with all employers just like learning right students are weighing whether or not an affinity fair is right for them it's a really great conversation to have with the GBCC because they can help you make that decision and I would encourage students to be bold and to take the risk and to start early because there's nothing you can lose by starting early, by getting your resume done before the career launch, by getting your interview stories ready before the career launch, because that means when you go through the career launch as a part of the GBCC's training in the fall, 
you're just refining at that point, and that gives you a jump start through the affinity fair process to just only get better once you get into the fall semester.